Welcome to the Big Sam channel. You know what I'm saying? I'm Big Sam. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's doing good. Um, I just wanted to bring something a bit different to you today, guys. You know what I'm saying? From what you might usually see, you know, around. Um, but basically, um, I'm, a, I'm, you know, I'm British. I was born in the UK and everything. But at heart, I'm a Ghanaian boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Ghanaian boy. I love my Ghanaian food. You know what I mean? Um, to me, I don't think there's anything better. Like, there's no other cuisine. I mean, obviously, there's other cuisines that I haven't tried around the world and stuff. But to me, it might be biased, but hey, I don't care, man. Guardian food is the one. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't tried it, please, people, go go and check on Just Eat. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, we've got Just Eat. We've got Deliveroo, all these other places, man. If you're not if you're not based in Ghana, I mean, if you're based in Ghana, you already know. You should already know. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to tell you nothing. You know what I mean? But if you're not, look around, there's always Ghanaian restaurants, you know, around like most countries these days, you know what I'm saying? There's always an auntie or an uncle somewhere that's, you know, putting in the work and supply, supplying the, the real Ghanaian food, you know what I'm saying? But today, I'm going to be sharing something a little bit special, you know what I'm saying? People look at, you know, the main ingredient here is, is a boiled egg. And most people will be like, yo, boiled egg, it's a bit boring, isn't it? But listen... In Ghana, boiled egg is special, but if you're Ghanaian, if you know people that are Ghanaian, trust me, you should know that, you know, Ghanaians take their boiled eggs very seriously, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, today, this is something that I'm going to show you, it's basically, it looks a bit weird right now, just boiled eggs and onions, right? But basically, usually in Ghana, you get um, food anywhere, you can literally be in traffic and you get food, you know what I'm saying? It's not a problem, like, it's just... You know, again, it's, that's why it's one of the best places to, to be, if not the best, you know what I mean? But basically this one is just a little snack, you know what I'm saying? If you want to just have a little taste of Ghana, you know what I'm saying? If you've been to Ghana and you know what it's like, you know, this is something that is very nostalgic to me. That's because as a kid, I'd always get this on my way to the shops or whatever with my mum, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, basically it's a boiled egg, boiled egg, yeah, boiled egg. I should have done a tutorial, I'll do it next time. But boil an egg, cut in half, yeah, slice up some onions, finely, make sure it's fine because you want it to be, you don't want it to be too heavy, you know what I'm saying, in the mouth. Just like, you know, something like, something like this, something like that, yeah, something like that. But basically, what you then do, and this is very important, guys, it's very important. You can use black pepper or white pepper or chili powder, but I probably wouldn't advise actually chili powder, that's a bit mad, you know what I mean, but... Um, just add something with a little spice, with a little kick. And for me personally, I use this, all right? Hot, original hot pepper sauce, right? In Ghana, what they usually do is they'll get some tomatoes, chili powder, um, and basically just like mix it together, you know, kind of grind it together in a way, and then they put it in there. So basically then what you're meant to do, yeah, next up is you get your egg, yeah, you get your egg, Put a bit of onion, just a little bit, just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit, right? In between the eggs, or the egg, I should say. Then from there, what you wanna do, this is for demonstration, I should be showing you guys, but hey, you see the final products, trust me. So you get the chili sauce, or the hot pepper sauce, put a little bit, not too much, just a little bit, just a little bit inside, you know what I'm saying? A little bit and hopefully it should be looking something like I'm gonna show you guys properly but it should be it should be looking something like that you, should, you get the gist right so you got some onion in there you got some um, hot, hot pepper sauce in there you know what I'm saying and it's literally as simple as that but I'm telling you when it when I tell you it bangs it bangs listen if, if you're Ghanaian if you know if you're Ghanaian friends and they really, they know their stuff, they should know about this. You know, that's special. If, you, if you're a real one, you should know about this. Yeah, but basically, I'm just gonna, you know what I'm saying, bon appetit and all that, you know what I mean? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Listen, people. This is, this is, this is a secret, man. I'm letting you know. I mean, you know, I should not be telling you this, man. This is special right here, people. I'm just saying, you don't understand. When I tell you, some people might say it doesn't 
look that look that great whatever it is when i tell you sometimes it's not about what it looks like man you know what i mean sometimes oh my days mm. Mm. people this is a present from me to you all right it's cheap delicious takes like literally five minutes to make tell me trust me go ahead and try it I, I don't even know what it's called actually what the actual going their name is yeah but go ahead and try it people honestly i'm plugging you i'm giving you the secrets i'm giving you some special special recipes here man you know what i'm saying if you're somebody that enjoys hot sauce or hot chili you know spicy stuff you like a boiled egg put it together what more can you ask for man but guys it's been a pleasure thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one peace